That's why I lied and told them you ran in the opposite direction of Shandu. I want to believe you, but I can't. Not yet. That reminds me. That Pressa woman we met at Kijara Sea Falls. It seemed like you already knew her. What do you want to know? Who is she, really? Uh. How can we trust you if you keep hiding information from us? Hey, all right, calm down. No need to get snappy. Do you even know what you're putting us through? <sighs> I met her when I was working for Rashigal's intelligence service. At the time, she was an Ajul secret agent working undercover in Fenmont. And? After that, we became more personally involved. You probably don't want to know the specifics. Okay, I believe you, but I still don't trust you. <laughs> you're so cute when you're upset. Stop that. I'm still angry at you. All right, all right. Alvin, can I ask you one last thing? Of course. Tell us why you're helping us. What's in it for you? You're asking that now? Because I love the hell out of you guys, of course. <laughs> More lies! How could you even think that? I'm hurt. I've become much more used to the Asperixis now. But I'm assuming it still hurts. That's what I've gotten used to. <sighs> hey, Jude was so worried about you that he went and found you a hard herb. What's that? It's an extremely rare herb with potent healing abilities. When used during aromatherapy, its effects are second to none. You went to all that trouble for me? It was nothing. Here, let's try it out. That smells amazing. I feel so much calmer. How is it? Do you feel any better? Yes, I can feel the tension melting away. Mila? Hmm, I, I can't stop hiccuping. Oh no! You caught my acute hiccup disorder? I kind of doubt that. She's probably just allergic to the hard herb aroma. If it was an allergy, wouldn't she be sneezing? Perhaps this is some unique aspect of Mila's anatomy? I'm sorry. I'll put it out right away. <laughs> this is fun. I've never had hiccups like this before. It makes me forget all about my pain. Thank you, everyone. Oh. Uh, no problem. So, uh, now what? As long as Mila's happy, I say we can move right along. After all, there's no better medicine than laughter. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Oh, hello, Jude. Good to see you again. Hi, I'm Carla Outway. I'm Leia, Leia Rolando. Hey, I recognize you. I've seen you here in the city before, haven't I? Name's Alvin. I do get around. It's possible you've seen me before. What about yourself? You must be from out of town if you're staying at the inn. That's right. I'm from Canbalar. I haven't been home in a long time, though. Oh, we've been there. Not the most pleasant of trips. I'm sorry to hear that. Were you able to meet with King Gaius? We did. He's a stern man, but clearly very dedicated to his people. In a way, he was kind of amazing. Kind of amazing, yeah, but super scary. Why can't he just be nice to people? King Gaius didn't always used to be that way. Do you know about the Battle of Fezabel? Um, well... It was a battle fought on the Fezabel outback 20 years ago between Rashigal and Ajul. The battle only ended due to a giant tsunami, 
No one's sure why it appeared when it did. It ended up causing dramatic changes to the region's spirit climb. That's how it became Fezabel Marsh, with all its twisted marsh flows. Oh, right, right. That battle of Fezabel. Yup, it's all coming back to me. Wow, you actually remember? I'm kind of shocked. Hmm. You don't need to be embarrassed if you don't know. It's never too late to learn. Oh, Carla, you're so nice! You could learn a lot from her, Jude. Uh-huh. During that battle, Gaius led a battalion of Longdao soldiers, even though he was a member of a different tribe himself. At just 20 years old, he led his troops to victory against an entire regiment of the Rashigal army. He was also the first to sense the oncoming arrival of the giant tsunami. He advised the Longdao chief to retreat, but the chief couldn't bring himself to give the order. The tsunami ended up swallowing both armies and wiped out Gaius's entire battalion. So that's how he became the Henri fellow we all know and love. Gotta hand it to him, though. It is true that most folk want a strong leader to guide them. And he's certainly won the trust of his people. Gosh, Carla, you really do know all about history. Well, at least when it comes to King Gaius. Is there a reason for that? There just might be. See you later, everyone. What do you think she meant by that? I wonder. Plenty of heat between Carla and Gaius, huh? You make it sound so illicit. And poor sweet Jude's left out in the cold. Come on, you know that's not why I'm looking for Carla. Bet she's waiting in Shandu. You think I don't know that?
that man in black suddenly started speaking some weird language. That was Long Dao, the language of the clan that used to rule Azure. Do you speak it? Not really, but I can understand it to some degree. But what made him abruptly start speaking like that? It appeared to be some sort of battlefield transformation. A side effect of his booster, perhaps. Does that mean I'll start speaking some weird language too? Then you wouldn't be able to talk to anyone. Relax, that won't happen. His booster is totally different from Tipo. And if you did start speaking some weird language, I would totally learn it so we could still talk. Thank you. Are you good with languages, though? Well, that's beside the point. Everyone's gone. And now more of my memories are gone with them. But they weren't very good memories, were they? <laughs> 